Hey, my sweeties, how are you today? Hopefully good. Today I'm going to be doing a monthly oracle for the month of July. I don't know, I was just sitting here thinking, hmm, what can I do? And as much as I love my tarot and everything, I don't know, I just like to do an oracle every so often. Just straight oracle. <laughs> and it's going to be for the month of July because July is coming up. Because, yeah, June is ending. <laughs> July is coming. And it's going by really fast, everybody. All right, I'm going to be using the Wisdom of the House of Night. And I'm going to be picking... Hmm. Let's see. I'll do four cards. Why not? Okay, let's see. Just to see what July has hold, on hold for us. Oh, is that the right term? Or what it has in store for us? That's what I meant to say. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see what the first card is. Fulfillment. So if you look at this card and everything... As you can tell, it has the wine, the fruit, and everything. Fulfillment is everything that you need is being fulfilled. That's what I would say. That all your desires, all your, you know, everything that you want and everything is being filled. But I will look it up and see what they have to say to get a different perspective of it. On it, I should say, not of it. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Alright. Celebrate your choices at this time, for you have drawn the symbol of fulfillment. Now is the time to integrate and digest what you have learned of late. Save every moment and know that every encounter is intended to feed your soul. You are meant to have a rich, satisfying life and taste all that experience has to offer. Look around and recognize all of the ways that your life is already full. You have so many reasons to feel good about yourself. All is well and will be well when you choose fulfillment. So basically what I said, you know, just look around and just see what life has to offer you or what it has offered you and be happy with everything because it's fulfilled. Alright, so that's the beginning of the month. So far, it's looking so really good. And conclusion. Conclusion to me is like, like say if you're reading the book and everything, and then you get to the conclusion, the heart of the matter, what's going on, you know, like the ending of the book, the closure. So to me, conclusion is almost like a closure. So let's see what they have to say. Let's see if they say what I say. All right. Let's see if I can find it. <laughs> Here it is. Conclusion. Don't, re don't resist the conclusion for endings are important experiences and will help you build a stronger foundation for your next adventure. See? Told you. It's like an ending to something. This is also a warning to get all the facts before you draw a conclusion about someone. You can't know the whole story if you haven't read to the end. Remain open even when an ending is final or conclusion is correct. This is a sign that a new story is about to unfold. So I told you it has to, something to do with an ending and everything. And also, try not to make assumptions. Because you know what? So we can be wrong, you know? So, just make sure you have all the facts before you make any kind of conclusion about anything. That's what it's basically trying to say. So, yeah, still looking okay. Let's see what else. Denial. Oh, can you see that, guys? Sorry about the glare. Denial, to me, is something that you don't want to acknowledge. That... 
that for some reason you're trying not to like, I don't know, how can I explain this? That you're in denial of something, that you just don't want, you don't want to face facts. You're trying to keep it hidden. Or you're just trying, like I said, not to face it. So you're going to be denying it to yourself, which is not good for you. So let's see what they have to say. So it's actually pretty interesting so far. Consider the wait for your highest good. You are not meant to achieve what you want right now. Keep the faith for if you wait and show patience, I will reveal some wondrous thing later. It's a gentle warning not to get caught up in your desire to reach a goal too soon. You may choose sour fruit that only looks ripe and juicy. In this case, I alone know when the time is right. Patience, my child. Not everything is in reach, my child. Sometimes I must create distance between what you want or when or how you are meant to receive it. So yeah, so it's basically, it's like a waiting game. But to me, I don't know, for some reason I'm just not, to me, if you're, if you're in denial of something, it's like you don't want to, you don't want to face facts. So I guess they have a different meaning than I do. But it is in reach your goal. You just have to be patient and wait and to see. Because if you look at the card though, she is reaching for something. So yeah, she just needs patience. So, so far we have fulfillment then conclusion, and then den denial. Pretty interesting so far. <laughs> Let's see what the last card has to hold. Uh, individuality. So to me, individuality is actually someone who is unique. Or, I don't know, individuality. Something that you achieve within yourself, I would say. Let's see what they have to say. Individuality. Where are you? Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. All right. All right. I have mocked one young vampire in a way that is unique. See, so told you unique. Setting her apart from all others. Choosing a symbol is important because it reminds you to reflect on your unique qualities. It also reminds you not to compare yourself with others. This is a futile exercise because no one is the same. No one's beauty is greater or lesser than yours. No one's life's better or less than yours. Others may seem happy doing things a certain way. But if you feel as if you're compromising yourself to fit in, don't. People will love you for who you are, not someone you are trying to be. Your task here is only to be yourself. This is a powerful sign. Which is true. I mean, don't try to be someone you're not just to please other people. Because you know what? It's never going to happen. And you're never going to be happy if you try to do that. So yeah. So far, this is a pretty good month. I mean, we have everything <laughs> we have fulfillment which that means happiness getting what we want and everything that everything that we desire is fulfilled then we have conclusion which is an ending to something and not to make judgments on anything be careful on who you judge because you know what we could be wrong think before you make a conclusion it's trying to say and then denial which to me is I don't know. To me, denial is that you're not trying to face up to something. That you're in denial of something. Or it could also mean that, you know, the thing that you want is out of reach, too. So, yeah, that kind of makes sense. And then individuality. Be yourself. Try not to be, you know, somebody else. Because, you know what? You're not going to be happy if you try. So, pretty good month. We have everything over here. To the beginning to the end. Well, I hope you guys like this. If you did, 
please let me know. Give it a thumbs up. That'd be great. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. And I'll talk to you Saturday because I'm going to do my weekly reading as usual. I love my weekly readings. It's fun. And I don't know. Subscribe. Share with your friends. Uh, and if you guys have any, you know, any other topics that you want me to try to cover, let me know. You know, something different other than tarot, oracle, or, you know, divination. If you want me to talk about something else, that'd be great. But I'll talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys have a nice week. It's actually almost done. We only got like two more days, and then it's Friday, which I have Friday and Saturday off. Woohoo! So, yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Mwah. Love you guys. Keep smiling.